I want to inspire girls to know that they are more than what this world says that we are and that anxiety and depression, it's not the end of your story. And for me, it was the beginning of mine. My name is Abby Arend, and I was diagnosed with anxiety and depression when I was in fifth grade at the age of 10. I felt like I was the only girl that was going through what I was going through. I felt like I was the only girl that didn't feel pretty, that I was the only girl that felt fat and ugly. And like in this community, I didn't have friends and I just felt alone in this. And there's nobody who feels the same way I feel. Yes, my parents were always like, we love you, we're, we support you, we're here for you. But there was nobody who was going through the same thing I was going through my age. They kept telling me, you're not alone, like we're here for you, we're here for you, but it's different with your parents versus having somebody your age. And so I've made it a goal to be that for other girls because I never want anybody to ever feel that. I play volleyball and volleyball is a big um, factor in my life and like how I feel about myself and my anxiety and everything. I'm a setter and I was the only one on my team. The very first big tournament of the year I got hurt and I ended up tearing a ligament in my ankle and I, I had to make a decision whether I wanted to play. I worry a lot about like the mistakes that I make, like bad grades, yeah, I'm gonna worry about that and bad serving errors and just stuff that happens in volleyball I worry about. And so that all overwhelmed me so much to the point where I was just rock bottom. I was in this very weird time in with my body image and my confidence and and um, I remember being on the beach in Marco Island and this whole trip it was cloudy and the clouds just whooshed away just like they were just gone and the sun came out and it was like all that darkness that I had been living in was just lifted off of me and it was just like Abby go let go of that and you're gonna do this and you're gonna change some people's lives. I think God placed a seed in my heart when I was diagnosed with anxiety of being that person for girls who are struggling and just to be a voice in their darkness saying, look, you are so not alone. Like I have been there, I have gone through that and there's light at the end of the darkness. God has our prince and your story hasn't ended yet and our struggles and our pain and our burdens, if we just put them into the largest suitcase we can find and drop it at his front door, that's what he wants us to do, you know? And I think there's so much power in that. So Project 4031 is a ministry I started. It's based off of the Bible verse in Isaiah, which is, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary and they will walk and not be faint. I have an Instagram for it and a YouTube and ultimately it's just a group of girls like supporting each other and something that I think makes projects so special is that what these girls are going through I'm going through it too. Anxiety and depression is hard but there is a light at the end of the tunnel and your story it's not over when you when you get diagnosed or whatever it is that you struggle with it's not done like God's not done working in you and through you and this just very well could be the beginning of of your story